with your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, it's not a bad day to start out the first day of autumn across our area. In fact, I pulled out my orange tie today just because it is the first day of fall and it's feeling a lot like it. We've got low humidity highs in the 80s for the next couple of days. And yes, there are some rain chances as we go into the upcoming week. We're going to talk all about that in just a minute. But today we got to a high of 82 out at Mathisville. We averaged around 88 this time of the year, so we were a little below average. The record stands at 101 for a daytime high back in 1926. This morning's low of 48. That's well below average for morning lows this time of the year, but still above that record set back in 1913. Right now, temperatures look like this across our area. We're all sitting in those low 80s. It's 80 in San Angelo, 80 out in Wall, 81 in Brady, 84 down in Junction, 77 in El Dorado, 79 in Sonora, 78 in Fort McCavitt and Menard. So some of us still sitting in those upper 70s and low 80s. Bus stop forecast for tomorrow. We're going to start out on a cool note as you head off to the bus tomorrow. But I want to grab that jacket. The temperatures are going to be in the low 50s with clear conditions as you get on the bus, you're not really going to need that jacket as we roll into the afternoon hours as you get off the bus tomorrow afternoon. We'll climb into those upper 80s with a few clouds around the area and then daytime highs over the next five days. Seeing a lot of orange on this chart here. That means temperatures in those upper 80s, a little bit warmer than where we were today for the next five days, but still close to normal for us for daytime highs go as we go through the next five days. Relative humidity is down for us across the area. A lot of dry air across our area, making it feel very nice outside. Humidity at 19, 17, 16%, 14% down in Junction. So we're seeing those lower humidity values and lower dew points across our area, which means drier air across our region and clear skies as well. Clouds and radar are confirming that for us with a few clouds moving into portions of West Texas, but the majority of us remaining on that clear side. And I think that's the way we're going to stay at least for a little while longer, but then clouds start to work in for us as we go into the rest of this week. We'll start to see a little more cloud cover mixing in highs in those upper 80s. And then as we roll into the weekend, we're going to start to see that cloud cover start to increase as we go Saturday into Sunday ahead of our approaching next weather system as we go into next week. Look at this already starting to see some showers and thunderstorms indicated by the model here late Monday night into Tuesday. But look at this, the best chance of rain coming on Tuesday for us. And then even seeing some showers lingering into our Wednesday. But I think that best chance of rain comes on Tuesday. A little science lesson for you before we go here. The fall equinox is today. It is the first day of calendar fall. The sun is directly over the equator, or it was this afternoon at about 2.20 this afternoon. And that's when the fall equinox took place. And equinox is Latin for equal night. So the sun's rays directly over the equator. And that's what we had today to start off the first day of calendar fall here in the northern hemisphere. Days are going to start getting shorter and then nights are going to start to get a little bit longer as we head towards the winter season. Tonight we'll drop down to around 49 with clear and cool conditions. Winds out of the southeast at around 5 miles an hour. Our Thursday we'll top out near 87 under sunny conditions. Winds out of the south at around 5 miles an hour as we go in through the next five days. More like fall for us. We'll start to see a little more cloud cover as we go into the weekend. Temperatures in those upper 80s. Then we'll watch for rain chances rolling into Tuesday. I think that's going to be the best day as of right now for that chance for some showers and thunderstorms. We'll carry a slight chance into next Wednesday. We have more KCN News. Stay